From Washington to Florida, California to Maine, unboxing clues is what we do in Unbox USA. Let's play! Welcome to Unboxed USA, the carnival game that tests your knowledge about our 50 incredible United States. Now together, we are one country, but each state is very different with its own unique history, landscape, and fun facts. How much do you know about each of them? Our contestants today have no idea what they're in for. We've got nine clues about our mystery state. Now they get three guesses, and if one of their guesses is right, they win our big prize. You ready to give it a shot at the state fair? Let's go. You ready to unbox? Bring down the first box. You can reach in, go ahead and put it on the table. And this is our first clue. See what's in there. A baseball and a baseball glove. Oh, what do you suppose that's doing in there? I don't know. Do you go to baseball games? I do. I do. What's your favorite baseball team? The Dodgers. Dodgers. Oh, the LA Dodgers, yeah. Well, have you ever heard of a team called the Pirates? Yeah, I was on that team. Oh, well, there was a professional baseball team called the Pirates, and the Pirates played in this mystery state. The first ballpark in the United States, made entirely of concrete and steel, was built in 1909 in our mystery state. The stadium was home to a baseball team called the Pirates from 1909 to 1970. Bring down the next box. Okay. Maybe it's Easter eggs. <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> Mushrooms? No. There's some chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate and mushrooms. Chocolate mushrooms. <laughs> Chocolate mushrooms. How do the mushrooms smell? They smell good. Really? Raw. Oh, you like healthy food. I like that. How does the chocolate smell? Better. <laughs> <laughs> Any guesses about why there would be mushrooms or chocolate as a clue about our state? No. Maybe no. they grow mushrooms there? Good thinking. Our mystery state is famous for growing mushrooms and making chocolate. One city produces two-thirds of America's mushrooms, almost 400 million pounds. And another city was named after a man named Milton and now makes more than 70 million pieces of a very popular candy every day. Special delivery coming your way. How are you gonna get that open? Pop, I think it's this. Count to three so we can all brace ourselves. One, two, three. Oh! It's a note. Most of the state is covered with mountains, hills, and river valleys. The Delaware and Ohio rivers are in the state. Have you ever heard of the Delaware and Ohio rivers? Yes. What else did that note say? Rivers, valleys, mountains. Mountains. Have you ever heard of something called the Appalachian Mountains? No. No. The mountains of our mystery state are also part of the Appalachian Trail the longest marked footpath in the eastern part of the U.S. It starts in Georgia and heads north for over 2,000 miles. Are you ready to make your first guess? I think I am. What do you think? Yeah, okay. We have it. <laughs> What's your first guess? We're gonna say Michigan. Go ahead and mark Michigan. Okay, let's find Michigan. Right there. Oh, here it is. There. Good job. That's round one. So your first guess is Michigan. Bring down the next box. Here it comes. It's light. A key and a stone? A key and a stone. A keystone. <laughs> That's weird. Do you know what a keystone is? No. Is it a restaurant? It's not a restaurant. What kind of food would they serve at the Keystone restaurant, though? I want to know. Stones? <laughs> <laughs> this state was one of the original 13 colonies and played an important role in America's founding, which earned it the nickname the Keystone State. The word keystone refers to the stone at the top of an archway that holds all the other stones in place. It's a symbol for how our mystery state kept the U.S. together during its founding. Bring down the next box. Get it. This one's a tiny box. 
Let's open it. A one hundred dollar bill. bill. <laughs> Do good things come in small packages? Yes. <laughs> Who's on that one hundred dollar bill? I'm not sure. If I told you the name Benjamin. Benjamin, <gasps> Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. Founding father Benjamin Franklin on the $100 bill is from this state. Franklin was an inventor and diplomat. He helped write and signed both the Declaration of Independence and our United States Constitution. Special delivery. You caught it. Let's see. This state has been famous for coal, iron, steel, railroads, and oil. Andrew... Carnegie? Carnegie made his state the steel capital of America. Have you ever heard of Andrew Carnegie? No. No. In the early 1800s, industry in the area was growing, and a railroad was built to help transport goods. By 1882, the railroad that bears the same name as our state became the largest railroad and corporation in the world. Our state soon became the steel capital of the U.S., thanks to businessman Andrew Carnegie, the richest man in America in the early 1900s. It's time to make a guess. Yeah, we're good. Pennsylvania. You think so? Okay, go ahead and take a guess. Okay. Right there, all right there. There. Let's get ready for our next clue. <gasps> Two feathers. The Declaration of the 13 United States of America. The Declaration of Independence was approved by the Second Continental Congress in 1776 in the biggest city in our mystery state, which was also the first capital of the United States. Founding father Thomas Jefferson was the main writer of the Declaration, and historians say that the document was written using quill pens. Bring down the next box. Let's get it. Box. It sounds like there's something in there. Metal. Hey, a bell. Is there an important bell in the United States? Yes. What's it called? The Liberty Bell? Liberty Bell. Do you know where the Liberty Bell lives? New York? No. <laughs> America's famous Liberty Bell, with a big crack in it, resides in this state. It used to be a bell for what was once known as the State House, now called Independence Hall. All right, we've got a special delivery. Special delivery. <laughs> Virtue, liberty, and independence. What do those words mean? I don't know. Virtue means high moral standards. Virtue is doing what's right. And what does liberty mean? Freedom. Freedom, very good. And what does independence mean? Freedom. freedom? <laughs> yeah, independence means freedom too. Our mystery state's motto is virtue, liberty, and independence. It's not certain how the motto was created, but historians guess that the ideals in the Declaration of Independence influenced it. A state's motto gives residents a sense of unity and belonging. Okay, take one last guess. Okay, we're gonna say Pennsylvania. How confident are you? Super confident. Super confident. <laughs> Go ahead and mark it on the wall. Let's see what our mystery state is. What's this? It's a shape. Hold up the shape. What state is that? Go see if you can match which state it is. Turn it around, see where it fits. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania! It is Pennsylvania! Congratulations! Yay! Let's unbox Pennsylvania one more time. The first ballpark in the U.S. was in Pittsburgh. Kennett Square is the mushroom capital of the world. And the former city of Derry Church changed to Hershey, Pennsylvania in 1906, thanks to the success of Milton Hershey's now famous chocolate factory. The Delaware and Ohio rivers are in Pennsylvania, and most of the state is covered with hills, river valleys, and mountains, 
which are home to part of the Appalachian Trail. Pennsylvania was so important in America's founding, its nickname is the Keystone State. Founding father, inventor, and diplomat Benjamin Franklin was from Pennsylvania. In the 1880s, the Pennsylvania Railroad became the largest railroad and corporation in the world. Pennsylvania soon became known as the steel capital of America. America's Declaration of Independence was written in the city of Philadelphia, in what's now known as Independence Hall, the home of America's Liberty Bell. Pennsylvania was one of the original 13 colonies, and almost 13 million people live in Pennsylvania today. Virtue, liberty, and independence! Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.